Trophy hunting has been a controversial practice for decades. Hunters argue it can help fund conservation, but activists say it's cruel. Our newest CBSN Originals explores the debate. It starts with the story of Tess Talley. You may remember this picture of her with a giraffe she had just killed. She's speaking for the first time to CBS News. Here's a preview of trophy hunting, killing, or conservation. I heard that bullet hit good. Good. They don't go down easy all the time. Tess isn't just any trophy hunter. This is where we take the pictures. Okay, you ready? Not long ago, a picture just like this made Tess infamous. Perfect and turned her life upside down. An American hunter is pushing back against her critics. After in 2017, she killed a giraffe. And in the summer of 2018, the picture she posted went viral. This is um, a part of the black giraffe that I shot. Black due to old age. Something that I could take around with me and have him with me on all my hunts. I got the gun case made. And I have decorative pillows made out of him. And everybody loves them. So tell me about that giraffe. He tell me delicious. about that whole experience. <laughs> he really was. Not only was he beautiful and majestic, but he was he was good. And we all take pictures with our harvest. Yeah. That's what we do. It's what they've always done. Mm -hmm. There's nothing wrong with that. So earlier, Tess Talley joined me on set, and I spoke to her about the controversy of trophy hunting. Animals are put on Earth for humans. We are above the food chain. We're on the food chain, and it's up to you whether or not you want to eat meat. If you want to eat meat, that's perfectly fine. If you don't want to eat meat, that's perfectly fine also. Either way does not make you less of a person. So, I'm strong enough to know where the meat comes from and I harvest it myself. So when you say we're above the food chain, you know, some are going to say, so we're caretakers of the animals, not taking advantage of the animals, not what people might say, abusing the animals. How do you respond to that? That's not abuse. Okay. It's not abuse at all. It's all ethical. It's ethical hunting, it's management of, of herds, you know, in particular, the giraffe that I hunted, you know, that herd was managed by me. Whenever I done my hunt, um, I was stepping over bones that he had already killed, of giraffes that he'd already killed. And so stepping over these huge bones, I could already tell before I even laid eyes on him, I could tell, okay, there, there was a problem. I'm here for a reason. I prayed, if this hunt is meant to be, then things will go the right way and I will get to do this hunt. I wanted an old bull. I wanted a bull that was not able to breed anymore and one that was causing problems just like he was. And so now that he's gone, what do we have? We have a baby on the ground. So now they are reproducing and flourishing and that is exactly the results that we were looking for. And I'm proud to be a part of that. So I just wanna clarify, cause I don't know that much about it, right? When you say you're stepping over bones, you, you, this is an old guy. Mm -hmm. And you know, this, the way you survive being an old guy is you get rid of the younger. Absolutely. Threats. And so that you're saying most likely that's what he was doing. Yes, okay. yes, he was taking out the ones that were still able to breed. And it's been, Several years, they said, several years since they had had a baby, and now that he's gone, and we now have one as of uh, three months ago, I think it was, when they reached out to me and told me all the good news. Okay, one last question on this, and then we're gonna get to the way people have treated you since then, and it's been a while since this happened. This picture here, you look celebratory. It looks like, you know, the 4th of July. My or... prayers were answered in that picture. I owe him a thank you. What are you thinking? Oh, I was thanking God for that. Absolutely, yes. You know, it wasn't just for, you know, for me for doing the hunt, which is something that I love, and I'll never stop hunting, and I'll never apologize for hunting. Just because people doesn't like it, we're all different, and that's okay. That's, it, that's the best part about being an American. You see how people th you look at that picture and they see somebody <laughs> celebrating death. Absolutely. I, I do. I, I do understand it is difficult for the ones that don't see it, you know, the way that I do. Mm -hmm. That's a beautiful animal, but a crocodile is also. Do you think that if that was a crocodile instead of a giraffe that I would have received the death threats that I received because they think they're ugly? So let's talk about this. Um, the picture went viral a year ago. It's been a year of non-stop harassment and threats. One year anniversary today. What have you been dealing with? Um, I need to be raped, murdered. Uh, my children need to be raped and murdered. Um, kids that I'm associated with needs to be raped and murdered, hung. They want to kill my pets. They want me to kill my pets. They're animals too. What's the difference? There's a huge difference. I mean, come on. Mm -hmm. um, What's the difference to you? The difference to me, an animal? Why harvest an animal if you're not going to put it to use or eat it? You know, that's a dog. That's a domestic animal. This, 
there is tons of people waiting to be fed by him. Um, have you ever considered getting off social media altogether? Absolutely not. I'm not giving in. I'm going to stand up for what I believe in, and I'm going to continue to support other hunters. The president and the CEO of the Humane Society, Kitty Block, who said she sees no reason for trophy hunting. I can't see any argument that supports it. Putting a price tag on any animal's head diminishes the value of that animal. There's no other way to look at it. You can set up these places and help them thrive through ecotourism, paying dollars to help see these animals stay in the wild, stay in places, maintaining the areas around it. That's where tourism dollars can go. But the idea that killing an animal is the way to sustain them it's a flawed argument, and it will always jeopardize that animal as long as their parts are valued to many, to some, more than the living animal. We've put a price tag on that animal's head. We will have much more of both of these interviews right here on CBSN Sunday at 8 p.m. Eastern, and you can stream the new CBSN Originals Trophy Hunting, Killing or Conservation now at cbsnews.com slash hunting.